In this video, we're going to talk about some other considerations that are of note when performing VCSA migrations. So the first thing we're going to talk about is VMware Syslog Collector. If you have VMware Syslog Collector installed on the Windows vCenter server that you're planning on migrating, that configuration will be migrated, but the historical logging information will remain on the source vCenter server. It won't be migrated to the vCenter server appliance. The reason for this is you may have several gigs worth of logs, historical logs on the source Windows vCenter, so we don't migrate those and risk filling up space on the destination appliance. The same is true for the ESXi dump collector. The configuration will be migrated so that your ESXi host will continue to log and dump to the ESXi dump collector, but any historical PSOD dumps that may have been generated will not be migrated. The same interoperability policy applies regardless of whether you've performed a migration or just on a standard upgrade. So it doesn't matter whether you've upgraded a vCenter to 6.5 or you've migrated a vCenter to 6.5. The same interoperability policy applies and we would urge you to consult the VMware Hardware Compatibility Guide and Interoperability Guide for vSphere 6.5 before performing a migration. Lastly, any local Windows OS users and groups will not be migrated to the vCenter server appliance. We don't do any translation of local Windows users to Linux users, so if you are using local Windows OS users and groups, you may want to consider either using Active Directory users going forward or use vSphere.local users. So that concludes this video on some other considerations involved in the vCenter server appliance migration. In the next video, we'll just summarize everything that we learned in this module. I hope you enjoyed this video.